Hello there everybody, Derek from GGTV here and welcome to another fantastic video. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to live stream to the live streaming platform DLive from your mobile device and have your chat and alerts on the screen as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So you're going to need three things. One, you're going to need a DLive.TV account. You're going to need to connect your DLive.TV account to Tidy Labs, which is the service we're going to be using to get the chat and alerts on the screen. And you're going to need to download this app called Streamlabs, which I have here on the top of my screen. It's a little green icon. So download and install that. So once you have all that ready to go, I'll have links down below in the description to everything. You're going to open your web browser and you're going to go to dlive.tv slash s slash dashboard. Now once we go to this site, you're going to want to open it as the desktop site. So here we have the desktop site. And once, you, and once you have this, you're going to set your title, your language, whatever game you're streaming, and you're going to put a little picture as your thumbnail. And you're going to click save. Now once you click save, this thing is going to pop up. It's going to say encoding server information. You're going to click it. And once you click it, you're going to click regenerate server URL right here. Now once it's generated, you're going to click copy on the stream URL. You're going to open your notes here. Let's make a new note and we're going to paste it in. And you're going to want to do the same. You're going to go back to your browser and you're going to copy the stream key and you're going to paste it in. All right. Now that you've copied both the stream URL and the stream key and put them into your notes, it is time to open the Streamlabs app. So let's go ahead and open the Streamlabs, Streamlabs app here. And yours is going to look a little bit different because once you boot up Streamlabs for the first time, it's going to ask you, do you want to stream to Twitch, to YouTube, or to other platforms? And you're going to go ahead and click other platforms. And then once you click other platforms, it'll look like this. Uh, where you're going to have to enter your stream URL and your stream key. So just go back to your notes, copy it, paste it in, paste the stream URL to where it says stream URL, paste stream key to where it says stream key, and then just hit OK. And then, once you're done with that, your screen's going to look like this, and then in the top left, it should say rtmp stream.dlive.tv slash live. Okay? So once you have that, you're going to go back into your web browser and you're going to go to the second website which is give me a moment here tidylabs.stream which links like I said links will be down below in the description in case you need them so you're going to go to this website it's just tidylabs.stream okay so you go to it, for some reason it's being a butt, or you just Google type. There we go, there we go, it works. And then you're going to go on the top right, you're going to click login. You're going to click, click login with Lino, which is your account, which is associated with your DLive account. And you're going to hit continue. And you're going to click OK. This is after you log in, of course. And you're going to be presented with this screen with a bunch of stuff. And of course, you're going to be want to be on the desktop site. So I'm going to show you how to use the chat overlay, but this should also work for the alert box. Just follow the same exact steps, okay? So we're going to click here on, ch uh, oops, I meant to click on chat overlay. We're going to click on chat overlay. We're going to go here. We're going to click copy URL. You're going to click OK. And then you're going to go back into the app called Streamlabs. Now, once you're here in the Streamlabs app, you're going to go to the top left to the three lines and you're going to click it. You're going to go to editor and my screen has a bunch of stuff but yours should have nothing on it. You're going to go to the top right. You're going to click plus. You're going to click add a widget. You're going to click custom URL and you're going to paste in that chat box that you just had. So let me paste it in here. Paste. You're going to click check. You're going to click add and it's going to be on your screen right here. So what you're going to need to do is 
tap on the box that just popped up on your screen. You're going to click the three little lines, three little dots right here. Click it, and you're going to make sure both the eyeballs are showing. So you're going to uh, click that, and both eyeballs should be showing for showing on stream and showing on preview. Make sure they don't have the line through it like this. Make sure they're both open. And you're going to... You're just going to make sure that that's set and you're going to click the check box in the top, check mark in the top left of your screen here. And now your screen should look like this. So now I'm going to go test it for you guys. I'm going to type in test on my screen here and it should pop up on the screen. And as you see here, you have your chat box. So when you go live, you'll be able to see your chat and then you're just going to want to go back to Tidy Labs go to your alert box, gonna copy the URL and paste it in. And like I said, make sure those two eyeballs are open and you'll be able to see it on your screen and your um, viewers will be able to see it as well. So now you should just be able to click on the bottom right of your screen, click the record button and you will be live 2D live with your alerts and your chat box all good to go. Hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or need help on setting it up, leave your questions, comments, and concerns in the comment section below. Links to everything will be in the description. And don't forget to subscribe for more amazing content, such as tutorials, vlogs, gameplays, and anything else I decide to post. And if this tutorial did help you, leave a thumbs up or like on the video. Thank you guys for watching once again, and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.